So get this. So we know about the Mother of Dragons. I said that there's someone out there that is the Mother of Dragons. She embodied all the elements. Fire, earth, water, and um, air, and also spirit. Um, there's also something regarding this mother dragon person. She has the ability to make her dreams come true. She can manifest her dreams into being. So that was a lot of gift of hers. Um, yes, if you guys watch the show or are familiar with the show, uh, you will see certain uh, scenes where she will not be affected by fire. There's a reason about her and her bloodline when it comes to fire and why they connected to dragons because they were the incarnation of dragons in a human-like form okay and not only that she can embody any type of being she can transform herself she can shapeshift it was not shown in the show but this is who she really is she can shapeshift she can transform herself she is the incarnation of a dragon a very powerful dragon a very mighty dragon Okay, and her bloodline is the incarnation of many different dragons. There was a part in that show which made me do part two, which is fire and blood, where they kept mentioning fire and blood. She always say, with fire and blood, right, with fire and blood. There is something with, with that. Okay, what I found out about the mother of the dragons, I'm getting all this information from my visions, okay, and who she really is. Um, her bloodline what made them who they were is through their life experiences they experienced a lot of trauma to the point it made their hair white their hair was very significant it holds power um the whiteness is not just for beauty it's like it holds their power and there's something about trauma really transformed their bloodline to a point where they were able to um, evolve in a very rapid rate compared to other species because of what they endured. Um, fire and blood. Uh, another truth that came out of my vision that I did not know, the Targaryen, which is the mother of dragon um, uh, bloodline, is black people. Did not know that. Apparently they're black. It's for uh, you have to have some type of um, African ancestry, um, um, melanin in your bloodline to be a Targaryen. Um, not all black people are Targaryens. It's just a certain the bloodline of Targaryen is black people um, who have that genetics. And the fire and blood when they say that you ever see her say that or any Targaryen because they all exist all over the world their descendants and all that they still exist when they say f with fire and blood it's a sign of their strength a symbol of like overcoming all of the bullshit they had to endure overcoming trauma overcoming that their um pain and when they say it it's like um a, a, like It's like a, a model to them, like, hey, you can't break us with fire and blood. You can't break us with fire and blood. Like, you know, it's like something like that. It's like a strength for them. Whenever you, when, they, when you ever see a Targaryen say that, it's a mantra to their bloodline. Like, hey, you can't break us. Do, do your worst. We still gonna ascend. We still gonna be the best. You know, so that's basically what it is when it comes to that. Um, another truth that came out with the visions that I had regarding this mother dragon character and her bloodline is that um, she said, I'm not a queen, I'm a Khaleesi. The word Khaleesi, that always um, left me puzzled when I watched the show, like years ago I watched the show. I didn't finish the season, mind you. But when I watched the show and she said, I'm a Khaleesi, and that was brought up Khaleesi, Khaleesi, and I actually heard that in my vision about that word Khaleesi. I said, what is that? I said, is it a title? Is it like a, a, a ranking? I don't know what it is, right? I didn't know. So I'm getting to understand a Khaleesi is like a sign of your birthright it's like um uh, um it's like a title but it's like you know how we have king lord like lords kings queens and all that that's what a khaleesi is it's like a a, a mighty symbol of your authority of your uh royalness like it's not you're not you don't have you just uh haha <laughs> let me slow down i'm channeling that's why i'm talking fast um you're not just a blood like 
your bloodline has to be pure blooded. One, your bloodline has to be royal blood to even be considered of, of, of a Khaleesi type of being. So a Khaleesi is someone who is of royal blood, pure blooded. Okay? And it's like a, a sign of a royal ranking, a royal title. Um, like past a queen. Okay? And then it's like... But I feel like a Khaleesi is an embodiment of a feminine energy. It's not like a masculine energy. You have to be a feminine authority. So they they, they call you a, a Khaleesi when you are um, of a royal, pure-blooded clan um, where you hold a, a, a title or authority over people, over a massive group of people. They don't call you queen because you ascended from that. You're more than the queen. So they will call you a Khaleesi. Okay, so that's what I got when it came to that. Um, another thing I wrote on my notes. Yeah, so let's go back to the fire and blood thing. Remember I said it's like a mantra for all the Targaryens, especially the mother dragon um, being that actually exists. Um, it's what they say, right, when they are dealt with... Um, challenges circumstances um pain um you know where people are trying to like come at them right they have this mantra to them it says i will take what is mine with fire and blood i will take it you know what i mean like they are very mighty they are warriors that's like their true nature like they are mighty warriors they are um their strength is unmatched like you cannot break a targaryen you cannot break a, T a khaleesi okay these people will go ab ab above and beyond for their for their clan for the people that they love for what is right for what they stand for they will go above and beyond for anybody that come after them a khaleesi is a natural born leader okay so with these type of people, not only when they say, with fire and blood, I will take it, you know, I like, <laughs> it's like, I will take what is mine. It's like, they will always get their justice. They will always get their revenge. Um, they will always, like, the, the scales will always balance to Khaleesi. It will always balance to Targaryen because what they endured, you know, throughout history, throughout their origin, like, they endure so much. So because of what they endure is, and because of how much they transform as a unit, as a group, they receive so much from that. They receive a lot, a lot of justice, a lot of good karma for their bloodline and to the point where they are they hold mighty titles in the spiritual realm they hold like a ranking that no one possesses they they can do many things that other people can't do they could get away with a lot of things that other people can't get away with and because of that it breeds je jealousy it breeds hatred from other clans from other species that want to take them down because they may feel like they're too powerful so with them they they recognize that and they understand that like hey we are sitting in a throne that many people want. We hold all the power. We hold all the truth. We have the symbol. We are well respected. Let's use it to our advantage. Let's use it in a way to help people, not cause destruction, not you know cause divide like this bring us together so these people the Targaryen is a symbol of hope a symbol of peace these people believe in fairness they believe in e equality they believe of justice true divine justice so these people are <laughs> they, they are very mighty uh, warriors um politicians they you may see them in careers and politician like again because i said many targaryen's descendants still exist they are all over the world so someone may be judges someone may be politicians someone may be lawyers someone may be teachers a lot of a lot of targaryen's go into teaching um many of them are um warheads they mean because but targaryen's they are warriors okay so they know how to fight they know how to strategize they know everything about war because they've been through so much war throughout their origin so when it comes to targaryen they they play a lot of different characters to them and they are in many different fields and when it comes to careers because they, they they are of 
a species of a kind that wants to help people you know not destroy they don't want to destroy life they want to make life better more um, beautiful uh, they want to expand life okay so you will see that in many different fields of health you know you may see them in the healthcare field you may see them in the um, justice field the justice system field you may see them in you know war uh, boxing something about boxing they love to fight <laughs> they love to fight uh, you just going to see a lot of Targaryens in many different fields but just know that they, they are a symbol of hope and peace they stand for justice okay and they, they want to expand life and make it beautiful and if they know what title they hold they know what power they hold so they don't abuse that okay it's, especially those who want to end them they don't they still don't abuse their power they they deal with their foes their enemy in a different way okay so that's something i would like to make clear for you guys to understand who the targaryens is and who the khaleesi is and who is the mother of jagged she's the symbol of hope like she is someone who's very precious to the targaryens okay she is a natural born leader She's um, someone who's very pure-hearted, um, mighty, so, someone who is like the uh, peacemaker, someone who's like the voice for the bloodline, okay? So this Mother Jack is a very interesting, powerful, beautiful character, okay? So once she comes to being, once she makes herself known into the world, you all going to feel her, everybody's going to feel her presence, everyone's going to know who she really is because... Her present can't be denied. It cannot be hidden. It can like that's how powerful and mighty she is. Like it's strong. Like she can change nations. She can cause destruction. She can make peace into the world. She can change this whole world to her her, her own will. H however she wants it, she can make it happen. She is someone who gets what she wants. She is someone who is spoiled. She is someone who. Um, targets anyone that comes for her family her bloodline she does not play when it comes to her bloodline or her family she will come after you like this person do not play about like the, that's the Targaryen for you Targaryens do not they are family over everything if you mess with a Targaryen family oh boy <laughs> off with your fucking head like you do not mess with any Targaryen's bloodline I'm just <laughs> don't do it okay um, I wrote something. What did I write? What the heck is this, child? Hold on. Oh, uh, this is this new hair, child. It's annoying. Um, tell me about hair. Okay, remember I said the white hair is not just a beauty because their white hair is pretty. Okay, it's beautiful, especially um, Daenerys, the character on Game of Thrones. She looks so pretty with her white hair. I really feel like this Mother Dragon character. She has very beautiful natural hair. It's very beautiful. It's flowy, silky. Um, she may keep it straight. Uh, she may have like wavy curly hair, but she may straighten her hair. Uh, I don't know if um, her hair is going to be white. It may be. She may just change up her color. But um, there's something about the Targaryen's hair. It, again, it's their power. Okay? It's where the, um, their holy essence resides in their hair. You're going to notice what sets the, the Targaryen apart from everybody else is by their hair. You're going to notice that first and then you're going to notice their energy and you're going to notice their presence and their authority, the divine nature to them, okay? Um, I am no ordinary woman. Um, so that's basically what I got when it comes to that. That was part two. That was the truth that I heard. Uh, the Targaryens is actually black people, but this mother dragon, she is she she's a mixed uh, cultural race. She's a mulatto. She looks mulatto, mulatto. She looks mulatto like she's mixed with something, um, not just black. But the Targaryens are actually black people, um, and it means something when they say fire and blood. That's a mantra to them. Like that, it shows um, their strength and their power like you're not gonna break them like do your best do your worst we still gonna reign we still gonna sin and you can never take us out <laughs> that's a Targaryen for you uh, <laughs> and don't mess with their bloodline they, they don't they don't play about their bloodline <laughs> don't do it okay she, like, <laughs> bitch I might be a Targaryen you don't even know because I, I, I don't play about my bloodline don't play about my I do not play about my family child uh, but that's this that's who the mother dragon is and this is the truth that everybody needs to know because she's gonna come to be uh, I feel like she's making her, herself known at this time because things are going to change so I'm just the messenger time for you to wake up people please like comment and share this video thank you bye